Hello, I am that British guy and welcome as I ask what next for WWE's women's division. Now, we've already had them headlining Raw and Smackdown. They have appeared in high profile type matches such as tables matches, steel cage matches, Hell in a Cell and even just late last year headlined the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view with Charlotte and Sasha Banks. This year saw the first ever women's Money in the Bank ladder match, which, albeit kind of ended in controversy, at least they were given that spotlight. And obviously this summer has seen WWE put on the May Young Classic Women's Tournament to basically highlight some of the best independent women's wrestlers around the world and hopefully a lot of those will get signed and work within developmental and get a chance to appear on Raw and Smackdown before long and appear in front of a much wider and bigger audience. So in terms of what they have already been able to achieve and the opportunities that have already been given to them, I'm wondering now what is the next step? Because obviously WWE can't just pat themselves on the back here and say, look what we've done, aren't we great? We've given all these opportunities for female wrestlers, especially recently, and just let it sit there. There needs to be the next progression They need to be given the next opportunity and continue to be seen as credible performers who are at least equal to the men's performers. Now, within WWE, there is one glaring gap as far as I can see, and that is regarding the Royal Rumble. It's been around for over 30 years, and although two female athletes in China and Beth Phoenix have competed in the Men's Royal Rumble. They were very fleeting appearances, shall we say. They were almost token gestures. And I think what they need is their own Royal Rumble, with the winner of that getting their own title shot at WrestleMania. Now, obviously, there aren't enough competitors for a 30-women Royal Rumble, but I think you could, at the moment, even if you didn't call anyone else up from NXT, you could definitely get a 10-women Rumble. Um, Possibly with a couple of call-ups in the not-too-distant future, you may be able to stretch that to 15, but obviously that becomes awkward then because you really should have an equal amount of Raw and SmackDown competitors. So I think 10 would be sufficient, 5 from each brand, because that would still give you enough other competitors to compete in a singles match for both the Raw women's title and the SmackDown women's title as well. So you get two women's title matches and a women's Royal Rumble all on one pay-per-view. Now, granted, with the length of the normal rumble, and if you were to then add another 10-person rumble on top of that, that would take up quite a lot of time on the card. So, unfortunately, one of those matches, one of the title matches, might get relegated to the pre-show, but at least it's being included on the pay-per-view. And really, there have been multiple women's singles matches already on pre-shows, sometimes not even appearing on pay-per-views in sort of years gone by. The women's title's not even been defended or featured or anything. So the fact that you would get two women's title matches and a women's Royal Rumble match can only benefit the division. And I also think the best way of getting this across is to make it the opener to the pay-per-view. Obviously, they're not going to make it the headline, The 30-man Royal Rumble has always been the main event of every single Royal Rumble pay-per-view. There's no way they're going to change that. But I think making this the opener to the pay-per-view would be a brilliant way to showcase it. Also, it keeps the two Rumble matches as far apart from each other as possible. So what do you think about this idea for a women's Royal Rumble match? Do you think WWE would go through with it? Please let me know your thoughts. And if you do happen to be dead against it, please let me know why. I would be intrigued to see the other side of this. 
But I personally think this is the logical next step forward. And I really, really hope that we see one at the next Royal Rumble in January. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to the channel. I have been that British guy and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.